This Wednesday, Discord added a new type of channel that you can create in your servers, and they are called forums. Now, if you're old enough, you probably know very well what a forum is and the type of content that it caters to, but if you're not, here's quickly how it works. This is basically a more refined version of the threads feature that they added a couple months ago. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to separate conversations very easily within a channel. Now, this isn't gonna be useful for everybody or for every purpose, but there are some very specific use cases where I feel it'll be extremely beneficial, especially in my server. Examples like my help desk channel, where instead of having everybody post their issues in one singular channel, they can create a thread in the forum for their issue and that kind of separates it and it compartmentalizes those conversations. Another good one is buy or sell. So if somebody wants to go ahead and list a product for sale that they're selling themselves, they can go ahead and create a forum post. It creates it in its own compartmentalized conversation so that the only people talking and the only people getting notified about that conversation are the ones that are actually wanting to know about that particular product that's getting sold. And the final one that I think is gonna be extremely useful on my server is actually advice or recommendation posts. Uh, these happen a lot. They happen in all different types of channels, but now I can kind of organize them all into a singular advice or recommendations forum and then people can create a post, um, you know, talking about what kind of thing they are looking for advice for, and then people can go ahead and make their product recommendations for that particular use case. Now threads, as excited as I was for them, they aren't being utilized very much um, and it's just because they're inconvenient. So I'm hoping that the forum tool here is much more easily usable. Um, people actually do want to use it because it helps them, um, but time will tell. I'm going to start using it in my server um, for those purposes that I just mentioned. So let's go ahead and quickly see how to create a forum uh, within your server. And we're gonna go ahead and use my server as an example. So as I mentioned, the help desk one, I think is gonna be the most useful version for the forum. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the create channel underneath my help desk. And we're gonna do forum and we're gonna name this one help desk. So now we can create a guideline for this help desk. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and say, create a forum post for your issue. And somebody will reply to assist. Right, just for an example, um, you can have the default reaction, you can put slow mode on there. Um, you can limit how many times people can send messages very similar to a text channel. You can create tags, which is also very handy. Um, so you can create a whole bunch of tags and I think I'm gonna do this for the help desk. I think I might do this for the recommendations as well. Um, and even for the buy and sell so that people can categorize, hey, I'm selling a CPU. Hey, I'm selling a GPU. Um, hey, I need recommendations on a 3D printer. And it allows other people to find those. So if they're like, hey, what kind of recommendations were people giving on this before asking their own question, they can go ahead and search for that. So it wants us to set a default reaction. So let's go ahead and set one. We're gonna do, um, let's see here. We'll do a thought one, okay, yeah. All right, and now you can go ahead and you can create your first post. So I'm gonna create a forum post, I'm gonna sticky it and it's gonna be about how to use this feature. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and post that, and now we have it right here. And you can create pins in there, you can do a whole bunch of stuff within this post. So if you go to help desk here, you can see that this is the forum, and now this is the post within that forum. Now, if you do want a sticky one, you can right click it and you can pin it. So now this post will always be at the top, and it'll always be there. So this is a good one to kind of maybe put a little bit more detail about what that forum is about. So you do have the post guidelines and that is the description really for that forum. Um, there's no description like there is for a bunch of the other channels. So this is the only thing that you have as in terms of a description. 
So having a sticky post may be helpful in order to guide people on how to use it properly and how you'd like it to be used in your server. So let's go ahead and see what creating a post looks like after you've had everything set up. And it's actually really, really smart and intuitive. So when you go ahead to create a post, it actually goes ahead and searches the existing posts while you're typing a title. So if I go ahead and start typing a title and I say, I can't hear Discord, it's actually gonna search all of the existing posts within that forum to see if one already exists, which is great. It helps minimize duplicate posts, people asking the same questions, people asking uh, or talking about the same topics. This really helps narrow it down, so that's awesome. And then with that, we can go ahead and we can add tags to it. So I'm gonna tag this one as audio because it's a I can't hear Discord issue. You go ahead and you create your post, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can add a picture to it if you want to. You post it and now it's tagged as audio. So now I can go ahead and I can filter all of the posts within that forum with that specific tag. Moderators can add additional tags to things, um, which is also super handy. So if people maybe miss tag something or they don't add a tag at all. Um, you can make it so that it's mandatory to put a tag, um, but maybe they miss tag it. You can have them so that the moderators can go ahead and correct that tag. Again, I do think this is gonna be super helpful in particular servers, especially where you have a lot of people in there. My server is not very busy, it's not very cluttered, it's not very popular. Um, so I don't technically need these, but I would like them to be there in case of growth and just cause I like being an organization snob and I like playing around with new features in order to help share them with you. And I hope this video did help you out. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. If you wanna know about more of these things, hit that bell icon for future videos. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below, or you can go ahead and join the Discord and you can ask those questions there. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Rojo Son of Dojo, and thank you for watching this video. If you do wanna watch any of my other Discord videos, I have a playlist marked up right here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.